Yo, it's your boy Roddy Perry. Hey, yo, hold on. You just threw a leather jacket on? And? You didn't have that on a second ago. I didn't know. I did not have it on. Oh, this nigga done got dressed in the warmth. This is crazy, Roddy. I didn't know he was. Don't be a hater, Rito. I'm a hater, nigga. I'm a hater. First of all, first of all, this is the perfect day. This is this is the difference between me and you. We got the black on. We both rocked the black. But you come with the ball cap, New York fitted, Uh and the hoodie. Yep, that's the style. That's how I do it. I like that's cool. But I went the same black with the with the leather well, motorcycle joint, and I don't have a motorcycle. See, that's the problem. You don't got a motorcycle. If you had a motorcycle, the jacket would be flyer. But nobody gives. I a don't need no motorcycle because the jacket you wear the, You don't wear the jacket for the ride of damn motorcycle. You wear the jacket. You never. Well, I was about to say Arthur Fonzarella was never on a motorcycle. Yeah, who like who like who made you get a leather jacket? To to be honest, to keep it one thousand. Yeah. I always I wanted one of these low so. I bought this. Where'd I get this from? Like, but who made you want one? Did you see somebody in one and was like, I gotta get one? It go back to my childhood. Fonzie, man. Arthur Fonzarelli. So uh, Arthur, Happy Arthur. Day. Did he have a did he have a motorcycle? Yes. See, that's why your shit ain't fly like his. Cause you ain't got no. I problem. don't care, Rito. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Your jacket ain't fly because you ain't got a motorcycle. I'm flyer than you. Today, because you pulled this jacket <laughs> bullshit. You pull this jacket. This is the crazy. All right, go, Roddy. What's up? Man? You want me to just go T-shirt? Nah, you good. You better win. I know you better win. Hey, yo. Uh, the name of the show is We Finna Argue. Me and this man naturally argue every time we see each other. Like, you you know what I notice you do now? What you won't talk to me all week. You be saving your little arguments. Because there's nothing to talk to you about. All you want to do is argue. All you want to do is argue. Anytime I call you, hey, what's up, Rodney? How you doing? Why you care about how I do it? First of all, first of all, you didn't call me. You don't call me. You should be checking on me. I'm an old man. I don't got to check on shit. You tweet every day. I know you okay. Anyway. You okay, nigga? You got seven podcasts, eight maybe. (laughs) I see you every goddamn day. (laughs) Hey, hey, speaking of uh, online presence, Rito Brown. Dude, your online presence is crazy. Talk to me about this, though, dog, before we get into the show. Martin Luther King Day, a few days ago, did you see the statue they unveiled from your city in Boston? Don't do, don't put that on us, all right? It's, it's my thing, man. You can, it, it, I don't like the statue. I can't do it. Did you see it? Yes, I seen it. I did you, okay, I first, for anybody that don't know, there's a beautiful statue in 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 Boston, it's called the Embrace. It's Coretta Scott King. It's Martin Luther King. If you look at it from the front, it's beautiful. It looks like Martin and Coretta. If you go around the side of that mug, hey, what does it look like, man? It look like a, a somebody holding a giant penis. Hey, Rodney. <laughs> if you go around the back, it look like a guy buried his face in the crotch. Only in your city, dog. Why has it got to be only in my city? That's not, it got, where's the artist from? That's no, no, what we need to do. No, it's in your city, and no, y'all wouldn't not. pay the man. This, this is a problem with Boston. Y'all won't play with some black. Y'all won't pay the full price, so all we got is arms. <laughs> That's cold, man. Where's only the in artist Boston. from? I, I will yeah. say this, though, Rito Brown. Go ahead. The only city I ever wanted to be from that wasn't my city uh-huh. It's Boston. Why? Because a new addition, man. I you don't understand. I grew up with them guys. Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Ralph. You could dance like that. I got an idea. Stay with me on this. Tell me what you think about this. Go ahead. Rito Brown. Imagine this. New addition does a pro am. Okay. Like, you know when like Old men go back and relive their high school f- football glory. Yeah. New addition should do that. Take a weekend and show people the steps. Listen, I don't, I don't want a hundred Rodney Perry's out there dancing like Bobby Brown. I don't want it. I just seen what you did. I just seen the, the hand movement, and I know your feet were moving too. I, no, I don't want them to get that clap. Okay. I, know you I don't need it. I don't need yes, a clap. You do. Yes, you do. I see it. Of all, 
first of all, Brown, I am a, I am a, 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 a honorary New Edition member. I'm more from Boston than you are, son. Yo, you're not gonna do this right now. I'm about to tell you. You don't believe me? I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. Just because Bobby, Bob, what Bobby did, what you, what you do, Rodney? Tell this bullshit story. I, I'm about to tell you. It's it's, it's, a, it's a great story. First of all, okay, and I go got, ahead. I got, I can't find. It. I'm not gonna be able to find a picture while we're on the air. But hippie goes. Remind me. We'll play the. We'll play. We'll show the picture next week. Oh, I might even be able to find some video. It's gonna be some bullshit. No. I did. I, I've done the Tom Joyner cruise on eight different occasions. That's a fact. Okay, I'm on the cruise. The big act closing the shows is New Edition. Okay. The thing about the cruise is comedians host the shows. So the first night, Damon Williams, who's the number one comedian on the ship, because he's on the Tom Joyner show at the time. He hosts the first night. Yeah. I'm number two. I'm not on the show, but they love me. So get this. I'm I, I'm waiting all day. Night two, new edition. And they don't call me, dog. Mm. I'm in my room. I'm pouting like a hoe. Mm -hmm. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. This your group. This my these my guys. I'm an honorary. So I'm in my room and I go, you know what, Rodney? If you're a fan, go down there anyway. Don't sit in this room and soak. Go down to the concert. And so they had the concert being televised on the ship, closed caption, closed circuit to your room. So I can see it. Right? They're doing the first half of the show. And I noticed they had their white jackets and they had the black pants and shirt. Oh shit, I'm like, I got a I got a black, I got black pants and shirt. Rito Brown, I got a white jacket. I put my shit on, I go down to the theater. I walk in. One of the security niggas go, yo, Rodney Perry dressed like y'all. They know me. I'm a fan. I've been a fan for years. I've been in all, I've been to a, a hundred concerts. Michael Bivens go, yo, snap, Rodney. He says it on the mic. Yo, fellas, Rodney Perry dressed like us. How you know? Because they wear different outfits every night. Rita Brown, don't shake your head. This is a beautiful moment. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Mike Bivens go, hey, yo, Rod. So on the second half of the show, a new edition show, they do all the fast music. He go, yo, Rod, come on up. JP, like, JP, you was JP not was there. there. JP was not there. JP, JP was on the cruise. Don't, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. I'm listening. I'm listening, man. They pull me on stage. Uh, I want to say, you have to count me out. I do that song. And, no, you and, don't, Rod. Did you have a microphone in your hand? I didn't have no microphone. You're not in the group. You got to have a microphone to be in the group. You gotta. I had a microphone. I had a microphone then. This nigga did not have no motherfucking microphone. Anyway, sit down and listen to the story. So, so I'm on stage. I got the white jacket on, the black joint. Stephanie Cook was there. People lying, man. Rodney, who are these people? Who are these people that are saying they were there? Rodney? These are the people that was the Tom Jordan Cruise is a big deal. So I'm doing a dance. Boom. Boom. I'm kicking it. I do the first song. I try to leave. Mike Bibb is like, nah, son. He did some Rito Brown shit. He said, nah, son. You up here now. You in. I end up on stage for the next hour. You did not do a... Ronnie, Bobby was not there. Ralph, Ralph Transvent, I was on stage. I was. Some people thought I was Bobby Brown. Dog, I do the next hour on stage with these guys. It was a life changing experience. Like it would be like you being on stage with the Migos. It was. It was so amazing, dude. Those guys. We took a great picture afterwards. I got a picture with them. I can't. I can't find it. 
But this is the thing. This is the thing. You got one week to find that picture. And, oh, that's easy. It's on no, my Facebook page. Listen, if y'all ain't wearing the same goddamn outfit, Rodney. You know what? I'm gonna find this this picture before the show is over. I, I got this picture. So, all right. That's a great story. That's a great goddamn story. Dude, 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 it's life changing. But but that's what gave me the idea that maybe they can have a pro am because there's a lot of guys like me that love them guys. Hey y'all. The name of the show is We Finna Argue. Yep. Rodney Perry, Rito Brown. Rito Brown and Rodney Perry argue over everything. We just don't agree. So, so here he goes, give us these personality questions, and, and we just want to see where we are, if, do we agree with certain things or not, and as I was reading the, the test today, I was like, ain't no way Rito Brown going to agree with me on this. I, I just know it. Uh, here he goes, where are we? Oh, using profanity is no big deal. I said it's no big deal. You said it is a big deal. Did I? Yes, you did. And it shocked me because I'm like, all you do is swear. Okay, I'm 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 definitely a cursing motherfucker. Yeah. But what you saying in an argument you don't need to use? No, it? no, no. I'm just saying you can't you can't live on curse words. You know what I'm saying? It is a big deal. Like you know, you don't curse at work. You don't curse around your mother. You don't mm -hmm. curse around people that matter. No, but you see, I don't. This is the problem with you, right? You talking about like you a teacher. You ain't no goddamn teacher. You, no, it's being a it's being a human being. You do not use, dude. I, we've been talking for eleven minutes. You ain't said one curse word, nigga. I keep saying the n word. Nigga ain't a curse word. To some people, it is. First of all, we yeah, can, we can unpack. First of all, you can't even that. use you can't even use nigga on King Week. What you mean? You can't use nigga on King Week. I've been using King all yesterday. Well, you, you didn't say nigga yesterday? No, nigga. You a liar, bro. I know. I, there's you no can't. Way. You can't. You know, I have a, the man had a dream, and you gonna call him a nigga? Man, that nigga had a dream. We know that. What you mean? The nigga had a dream. What's wrong I'm saying, with I'm that? saying this, I'm saying this, Rito Brown. Cursing matters, man. You don't do it in professional settings. You don't do it like we we take some liberties as as comedians, but real people in real life don't go around cursing. Listen, I would call my mother right now and say, Hey, what the fuck you doing? But do it, had... do it, do it. Look, while he's doing that, let's bring in some real people from other aspects of life and see what they Ladies got. and gentlemen, joining us today. I owe him money. I ain't going to call him. You ain't calling mom. See, I knew you was a piece of shit. And hey, not, you don't, you're not going to call and cuss your mom out. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the people we considered to come in with us when we first started this idea, uh, he plays Madden with us. He's uh, cute as all get out. He's a uh, he's TV. He's better than you in Madden, too. He's better than you, by the way. He better than you. What'd you say? He's better than you in Madden. You just trying to make me you trying to make me use profanity and call him some type of word. Ladies and gentlemen, fabulous super comedian. I saw him. I saw him. I discovered him. Leonard Oops. You I discovered Leonard, it was crazy. You discovered me. <laughs> Leonard, tell him, tell everybody who discovered you. Oh shit. Rodney. Sidney Castillo discovered me. Oh Sidney Castillo, I discovered him. So I, I inadvertently wow. discovered you. I, I but Redo isn't lying. I am better than you with Madden. Thank First you. First of all, not not long as you on them drugs. Stop I'm calling me drugs. drugs me the drugs. What was the drug of choice when you started? First of all, I don't do drugs. I didn't ask you that. JP. JP Justice. <laughs> no, no. All jokes aside. Leonard, I did not discover you. No, bro. I was already I had already did TV by the time I met you. What TV show? Comic View. When they brought uh, like more. Uh, all, nobody watched that season. You, no, did, you they didn't even air my shit. Still undiscovered, nigga. They didn't even air my shit. So nah, you're right. But I, I was already. How you gonna even claim that? 
because bro, it was my first TV crowd. I was like 19 when we filmed it. You feel me? Like, you know, you know. I, I said to you, I said, Leonard, get out of Virginia. And you, unlike most comics in the world, you listened. Yeah, that but that that's like telling a nigga in jail, hey, you might want to get out of prison. Like, yeah, nigga, you got to get out of there. Like if I want to, if I want to survive and keep doing this, I had to leave. You right. You right. All right. You right. That's the man, the legendary young Leonard Oose. He's TV, he's film. You know what I love about you, Leonard, is that you really leaned into the TV part. You leaned into the movie part. And that, that's a pleasure to watch, man. Well done. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. All right, our other guest for the day. This is my friend, man. We go back. In fact, matter of fact, I discovered her, too. Hey, Ladies you and gentlemen. Me. God, this nigga lying, man. Nigga, first of all, I've been around long enough. I discovered a lot of more. I didn't discover you because you was on the internet. Otherwise, I would have discovered your ass, too. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, hippie. Ladies and gentlemen. Kiana Dancy. Yeah. Yeah. Yana Dancy. You just did, lied. I, did I not discover It's a lot you? of lies. First of all, you didn't discover me. But you, you, you old enough to discover dirt, but ain't nobody giving you, you that credit. Whoa, you whoa, didn't whoa, whoa. discover me. First of all, y'all, Kiana yes. just roasted you a young know. lady, roasted a young lady stocking for 17 minutes the other day. Damn. I did not. And swear, she swears she nice. And she ain't nice, man. That's Kiana, I'm girl. Up. Kiana, if I didn't discover you, who did? I was already in the business when I met you on Who's Got Joe. In the business and discovered is two different things. Okay, how did you discover me, Rotten? I said that little girl funny. <laughs> Not that little girl. But Rodney, what I don't want you to do is walk around here saying that Oopsie is cute. You can't say that. Oopsie is a cute ass nigga, man. I'm not I'm not even trying to hit on him. The nigga is beautiful. That ain't nothing. I done heard I done heard Usti like low key Mac and I was impressed. I was like, okay, Liddy. Don't do that. Anyway, I don't know about if you discovered him, but you did say that I was a beast. I would accept that. Thank you, sir. Hey, hold on, Kiana. Why he can't say I'm handsome though? What's, what's up with you? Why you feel about the way he can say you handsome? He can't say you cute. I can say whatever I want to say. You can say whatever you want to say, but uh, you should be offended. Uzi. This, this, no, this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm never gay. <laughs> I can literally say whatever. What's up, Candy Kisses? I can literally say anything, even if it sounds gay. Like I don't never say pause because I'm always straight. Okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is, from a woman, a, another woman don't want to hear. A woman does not want to hear a man tell say to another. I don't give a damn what y'all want to hear. I'm okay, grown. Theory, that's the problem. Yeah, I don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm married. I'm not trying to get no. Now, if I was out here trying to get some pussy, I would think about it. Oh, oh, JP said you gay on Wednesday. I don't have nothing to do with that. First of all, you want to hear a JP gay story? <laughs> I got a JP gay story too. You got a JP gay story? JP told me some shit. <laughs> lady, lady, I tell your it. JP gay story. I can't do it. I can't do it. I would never. Do it. I would never do that. I would never. Do I'm that. gonna tell mine. All right, so, go ahead. Go ahead, JP. Right here. In Atlanta, shooting a project, we hanging out. We at the mall. We at the, the 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 cologne counter. The dude is helping us. It's clearly gay, but so what, man? We we not judging his brother. He's a black man in America. We not judging him. But if you talk to him long enough, they gonna do some gay. So, Rito, we at the counter. <laughs> JP, JP is talking to the guy. We having a we having a good time. The dude goes, "Hey man, you know this smells good, but here, let me spray it on my hand and you smell it." And JP, without hesitation, no, leaned in and smelled his man's hand. He did it to both of us. He said, Shh. "He he hit me. He hit me first. I said, "I ain't smelling your damn hand." And then. <laughs> He sprayed his hand and gave it to JP. And JP said, oh, that do smell good. I said, hey! No, you know JP, you can't hey. do that. JP needed to defend himself. I'm not going to make it where he can't defend himself. 
I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna send him the link. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll send him the link. Y'all can keep going. I am going to number one. We live on IG. Everybody, Chris. Hey, Rodney. <laughs> hey, that don't make that. that and smell another man wrist. Hold on, time no, out. Hey, but on his neck, and JP would have put his nose on that man's neck. That's gay. No, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. Hey y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I see the uh I see the uh Instagram follows. Appreciate y'all. Kingmaker is in the building. Hey, bro, man, bro. Love, man. Appreciate y'all. Freddie Rodney, did he spray the inside, like the inside of his wrist? No, no, he didn't go inside wrist. He went on top of his on top of his hand. All so right, Let's see. Christine the comedy cougar said, um, oopsie said he she said he is cute though. So there you go. We got, we got some people out there. But I'm going to throw Thank this you. up. This is for Rito and Rodney, but um, you guys can chime in too. Oh, yeah. We got something to talk about, Rodney. You said you said a lot of stupid shit this week. Well, <laughs> hold on, brother. No, you said a lot of stupid shit this week. Who will win a fight? Who will win a, who will win a fight between a bear and a gorilla? You said what? I said a gorilla, I believe. Right, hippie? Are you crazy? I'm going gorilla. I mean bear. Gorilla, a gorilla can pick up something, Rodney. First of all, have you nigga the the most fierce animal in nature is a fucking bear? Who wrote that? A bear? The bear can't write, silly ass boy. Gorilla can. That's what I'm telling you. He can pick up something and hit this goofy ass bear. Exactly, we know. That's why I'm saying a a gorilla never said anything stupid. She's a she's a genius too. Oh okay, God. hold on. Kiana, Kiana Dancy. Kiana Dancy, hush your mouth. Because you don't know nothing about animals. At all. I, the only you animals know, you got around you is that, that horse on your head. Just because just because you fucked the nigga that look like a gorilla do not mean gorillas. Are I small. don't. All my fellas are nice looking. And first of all, hold on, Kiana. That one dude was a little peculiar now. Which one? That one that worked at the hospital. He was rich. Ah! Ooh. That's the only way. There's rules to this. All the jokes aside, a bear is not to be played with, dog. Did y'all see Remnant, Revenant? Man. When the bear lost, right? The bear the bear mauled his ass for days. Yo, but the bear did not win. The nigga was alive. It was straight. Ain't no nobody survived the gorilla movie. My charger. What? King Kong? They shot that motherfucker up on the... Uh... Are you, are you Kong was destroying the city for 17 months. Oh, no, he wasn't. Look, yeah, he no. had a good. And he, got, and he got pussy. No, and King Kong got pussy. Who? You can't name a bear that got some pussy. Mm-hmm. What? Who you talking about? King Kong had sex. Boy, you crazy as hell, boy. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear never got no real coochie. Pooh Bear was a when boy, a little boy. King Kong had a girlfriend. He used to remember. He used to take her clothes off when he hold her and shit. King, King Kong had a girlfriend. You talking about the white bitch he kidnapped? Yes. Okay, that's his girlfriend now. No bear got no coochie though. Lady, save me. JP is back, y'all. JP, uh oh, we're sending you the link. Check your DM on your Instagram page. We're going to send you the link so you can defend yourself. The comments is going I would, crazy. I want to see if you're going to tell uh, the story he told me. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, I witnessed this with my own eyes, Lenny. What's the next topic? No, no, no. First of all, we got to be clear on this bear thing. Yeah, I bears, gorilla. bears are fast. Yo, Rob, gorilla, uh, gorillas are faster. Yeah, gorillas are faster. And no, they're not. Gorillas, gorillas are small. A bear is like about. ten feet tall. We're not talking about a chimpanzee. We're talking about a gorilla. Like a gorilla, a gorilla ain't that big, Kian. I'm telling no, they're about, they're about you. About the same size. Gorilla and a bear. A big California bear that was down to the zoo. That gorilla, the big one. The one that saved the baby, gorilla. The gorilla saved a baby. A bear would have would have ate eaten the baby. Hey, we're talking about the the, the gorilla- biggest monkey versus a fat wolf. A bear is just like a fat wolf, nigga. A bear yeah, will get his ass whooped. He nigga. said, a, all right, "Y'all go ahead and put in the chat. Put gorilla emojis or put bear but emojis." A, but a bear like a bear like a D tackle though. A bear like uh Aaron Donald. A bear's not a game. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yo, yo, they don't got a planet of the bears, nigga. Like, bears couldn't do that. No, no, no. no, no. Gorillas are smart. Gorillas are smart, but they are not they are not elite killers. Uh Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh Uh-oh. Where my maple at? Uh 
Let him let him defend himself. What up, JP? What is JP that? Justice, Welcome Welcome back. Back. Uh, uh, the, the, one, a comedian, uh, one a young king of New York, JP. Yo, listen, I witnessed thing. a JP pause moment, and listen. unbeknownst to me, so did Lenny. Lenny wants you to tell that story, will you? All right, first off, let me jump back to this. Uh, a redo. I was there. I was jealous. I was tight. I was mad at him. Hey, yo, I was mad at him. Was it an hour? It, it was a long time, redo. It, let me tell you how much time it was. I went, I was at the top watching it. I was watching it from downward so I could see the whole thing. And when I looked, I seen this dude doing this right here, and I seen him come. I seen him come from behind the stage. I was going, maybe, he, maybe he gonna host it afterwards. Because remember, uh, Damon was hosting it first. I said maybe he gonna host it afterwards. The show was still going on, and Mike did like this, did like this, and Rodney got on the stage, and Rodney was doing this, and I was, hey, yo, hey, yo, I was at the top going, nah, nah, this hell no, I'm not looking at this. Hey, yo, I was tight. I, I bumped people going down. The, 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 get out the fucking way. I came all the way downstairs. I went to the backstage. I'm looking, and he was having a good, yo, he was having a good time. That's what made it even worse. His face was smiling. Yo, he, hey, yo, he looked like, he, he looked, listen to this word. And black people don't use this word. He was elated. Wow, I was elated. I was elated. I was elated. Damn. Now, uh, the, the, the dude at the, at the counter, yo, it, Things happen so goddamn quick. It happens so fast. Hey, <laughs> so yo, even when I when, he, when he, even when I smelt it, I said I shouldn't be smelling your hand. And Rodney said, "I'm not about to smell your damn hand." At that point, I was like, "Yeah, I might as well go to the parade now." Uh, <laughs> so tell us how you did it. How how did you do? Was your eyes open or closed? Ooh. I probably hey, yo, I probably was in ecstasy because the cologne did smell good. The, the cologne was was wonderful, but yo, I could smell it from where I was standing. What was he? Was your lips perfect? No, he didn't. He didn't do that. He didn't do. That. I'm gonna go all out. Hell with it. I even had the arch back. No, I... you didn't. <laughs> hey, but I'm not gonna hold you. You was probably like the eighth nigga he got that day, though. Oh, he. You wanna know something, dude? He's probably catching dudes like that too and finding out if they he was a good off. salesperson in his defense. And yeah. we do not know if that man was gay or not. All right, so here we go. Now, Oots, which one are you talking about? You talking about the... which one? No, no, you talking about the Halloween story? All I remember is it, 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 it includes somebody from the uh, the community that don't like uh, Dave Chappelle. Yes. Oh, a All trans right. story. Here we, go. Wow. Here we go. Oh my God, I tell a story on stage now, so I I don't really care. Uh, I was the I was the uh, marshal for the Halloween Day parade here at the village in the village in New York City. And anybody know the village is historically a gay area? Yes, Stonewall, all of that started right there in the village. Uh, if y'all remember the 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 lady from Spawn with the leather outfit, she was dressed in the Spawn outfit, and everybody was trying to kick it to her, and she wouldn't kick it to nobody. Now, now, Rodney, in my defense, it was the height of my my television popularity. I was on Def Jam, BET, blah blah blah. I was walking through the streets signing autographs. People was like, ah, so she didn't give nobody no rhythm, and she walked right over to me, boom, and I was like, okay. This this is nice. We to, to make a long story short, we kicked it there. We switched up numbers. I called her that Saturday. Uh, she 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 uh, we was kicking it. I called her Sunday. We was kicking it Monday. She comes to the crib, and it was going down. And I you know, every you know kissing and everything through. I didn't even have no furniture. That's how bare my apartment was. I had like a little futon mattress. I threw on the futon mattress. We doing our thing, and then every position I'm throwing her, and she kept crossing her leg. She kept crossing her leg. Like, if I throw it this way, she cross her leg. She closed her leg. Finally, I got mad. I threw her on her back. You know, 6'8", 300 pounds. Blow! And gorillas will be the bear because they're agile. Uh, uh, blow! Threw, the, threw, threw her on her back. Threw her legs up. Saw a stitch scar going down the side of her vagina. For the record, <laughs> for the record, before you finish this, Flame Monroe said it was not her. Go ahead. Yo, look. Saw a stitch scar going down the side of her vagina. A what? A stitch scar, you know, like when you see someone that had stitches and you can see oh, like you, scar. So you lick their so, so she had a vagina. She was she was post op. Well, let, let me finish. Down the side of her vagina, you saw a stitch scar. I e a o redo. Look at redo. Like no, bro. <laughs> I immediately get weak, but I'm still pumping because if I got caught, I'm at least get the nut off. What? Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. <laughs> Look at redo. <laughs> 
you hey, maybe, she, maybe she maybe she uh hey, maybe hey, she hey, hit hey, her stuff hey, on a bicycle. Hey, you know when you riding a bicycle and you you hey, miss the pedal? Hey, like hey, you listen, don't know that that was a transgender. Oh, I'm let me get to the end of the story. So re, hey, redo, you get my point though, right? If I'm caught, I'm caught. Yeah, I might as well get this nut over. Right. So listen. So at the end of this, at the end of the, the session, she was talking, and all I hear is blah blah blah. I, to me, I don't hear nothing. I'm hearing blah 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 blah. In my mind, I'm like, get to the question. Blah blah. I said, yo, you a post uh dude? She started crying and said, no, she's a hermaphrodite. Oh, and she, she had, had both. She had both sex or both. But now I was still fucked up. I was still like, yo. You should have told me, blah blah blah. So I went to the gayest person I knew at the time, Louis Ferranda at Caroline's. Louis Ferranda, one of the owners of Caroline. Yeah, and I asked him, <laughs> Look at Redo. I can't tell a story because. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Name of the show is We Finna Argue, but the, the show is taking a turn. Oh my God. Go ahead, go ahead, JP, bring it on. So as I. <laughs> So I go to uh, a Lewis friend. I go, hey, Lewis, man. And I told him what happened. You know, Lewis had his little dog. He's like, oh, my God. You're not gay. You're lucky. There's only a thousand of them, and you found one. <laughs> wow. Funny. Dude, you had you had sex with a, a freaking yeah. a leprechaun. With a, with a, mm -hmm. what's, what's that magical horse? You had a you had unicorn with a you with a unicorn man. But she had a horn on it though. So let me ask you this, JP. Did you do the whole thing? Did you no 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 women every woman don't get that, that to see the to see to see the stitches, you had to be face to face. No, no, I was I, I threw her on her back and threw her legs open. And I seen it like that. Uh, now if I'm like this and I see it this close like this, there's a problem. Hey, Robert, what you say? Who she said you get your zipper? Huh? You lick the zipper. Uh, Uzi said you licked the zipper. Uh, no, I didn't. I promise you. Know you. How, you know how you see something on, on somebody, you try to make them feel comfortable about it? Don't worry about it, baby. He kissed these. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I like scars. I like scars. Ah. Yo. All right, guys. Hey, I got to get out of here, fellas. Hey, hey man. Thank, thank you for coming on, JP. 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 Just hey, listen, out. listen. Hey, hey, Redo, you owe me money for that laugh, bro. All hey, I bro, have you, have you told that joke is slaves yet? No, I ain't telling that Slades. No, no, no. <laughs> Yo, next time you go to Slades, I'm pulling up, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, for sure. I'm out, fellas. I got to get out hey, of here. Thank you, bro. See you, man. Hey, that's my man, JP Justice, King of New man, York. Man, Yo, man. the name of the show is We Finna Argue. It is time. Here he goes. Tell me if I'm wrong or right. I think it's time to squad up. No, it's time. It's time. All right. Our right. guest, her oh, name is Kiana Dancy. I got you. Hold on. Squad up this week. We got Rodney Perry versus Kiana. They're going to pick their three. Well, me, Oots, and Hippie will be the judges. And also, y'all in the crowd, the comments, Instagram, everybody, shout y'all out. Their three this week is the three meals you would pick for your last meals. Wow. What are the three foods you would pick for your last meal? So you can break it up. You can have a main, a side dish, and a cheeseburger if you want to. You can go dessert. You can go whatever the fuck it is. But it's Rodney versus Kiana. Three. Let, let's let's start right here. Kiana yeah. can't beat me. Kiana can't beat me. So no, 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 Rodney. Go. We're not doing that because you're not good at this. I can't you're beat you. This. You're not good, good at this. And y'all remember who the fucking judges are. A nigga that used to be fat. Well, well you about, fat. you look like you about to come back. Hey, fucking don't. Hey, nigga, that leather jacket making you look skinny. Don't act like you don't know that. I know what the fuck you doing. Wait, hey, you just fun. you said you weren't cursing. You've been cursing since I've been on here. I'm losing. Losing. He's losing. He losing that. You lost that argument, and anyway. you lost the bear shit. You anyway, Kiana Dancy, uh, you have the floor first. What 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 will you pick? Three foods for your, you know, for your last meal. You got this is your last meal. This is your squad. This is what you want on your plate. I need the food. Is that what I'm picking? Yeah, one at a time. One at a time. We'll go back and forth. 
Okay, first of all, I'm fasting, so everything sounds good. Okay, <laughs> right. I'm fasting for 21 days. I'm hungry. You hear me? <laughs> I can't wait to eat on Sunday. So let me see. Uh, I absolutely got to have some fried pork chops. Ooh, you going old school. Old school. And I, and I like mine fried hard, and I like another set so I can have some gravy. I was about to ask you, did you have some gravy on there? Yes. So I want to have wow. one fried okay. and one gravy. Oh, I'm ignorant. I'm country. You know I like gravy. Oh, I, yes. I, okay. I, I can't. My, I get a headache off mess with a pork chop. I'm a, uh, you go okay. fried pork chop. They try to kill you. Come on now. I'm going southern fried chicken. Thank Not you. no chicken wing. I'm talking about a breast and a wing. I'm getting that fried chicken, and I'm going to smother that motherfucker, too. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. All right. So, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. I ain't talking about stovetop macaroni. I'm talking about in the oven, has had to bake multiple cheeses, butter, all that seasoning. You got to sit and watch it. You looking at it. It's cooking over. You now, now who, who cooking it? Who cooking it for you, though? Mama! Cheese. She ain't here making the macaroni and cheese. Your mom can cook some mac and cheese. She can. God, All okay. right, you go. You go. Pork chop, mac and cheese. I'm going fried chicken, or we gonna die. We gonna die. God damn it. <laughs> Clearly. What, okay. What you got? I'm about to say it. I'm about to say it. I, but I, I don't know if this people like their mac and cheese, man. Oh man. You know what? I want to say one thing, but I may save it. This is my last meal. I'm eating all the shit, and I don't care if my gout act up or, so, or nothing. Give me a ribeye. Ooh. A ribeye, medium well. Uh, no, medium. Medium. I want to, I'm going to get, I mean, like white folks, a little red. Uh -uh, I like side. my medium plus. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I love a good ribeye, though. Ain't nothing like a good ribeye. I don't want no, I don't want no pork shoulder. I don't want no my, I don't want no uh that other piece of filet mignon. I want a ribeye with the marbling. It's gotta have the marbling. Yes. yes. Let me tell you something. I eat a ribeye off my lady if, if she if she sits still. Uh oh. First lady, you in trouble. Okay. All right, you got one one last one last thing. All right. Here it is. Caramel cake. You didn't put a cake on your order. Yeah, I'm about to die. I'm, if this is my last meal, let me tell you something. My mother makes the most amazing. There's only two people on this planet that make caramel that I can. My mother, and there's a bakery in Tucker. His caramel cake is so amazing. Now, I done heard you roast a couple of cakes. Yes, but my mama get in that kitchen, go to stir in that caramel, and she's like, I'm making caramel. Leave me alone. Now, I'm making caramel. And if she and that little fat part right there, go to ooh, wow. that crumb on, and it ain't no, and the cake is from scratch. You the know what? This this almost ain't fair, Redo. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause Kiana ain't always been slim. I ain't been no big. Hold on, I ain't been Rito. I ain't been Rito and Oopsie. You was a big girl. No, I was a thick girl, and it was all in the right spots. Don't play with me. I mean, Kiana. Uh, Do I need to go it. in my phone to find an old picture? Do it. I don't think I got like one. Me. I think you'd have had them all removed from the internet. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Well, anyway, I've been... I, I, I like, I'm, I'm not mad at that caramel cake. Medium. So I got fried chicken. I got red meat. So you got two pieces of meat. That's just so... That's so... Don't, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Ain't a I got, in I'm getting all entrees. That's dumb. You call it whatever you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. It ain't your turn no more. It's okay, well, what else? You got ribeye, you got fried chicken, and whatever. First of all, why you why you sweat my, my order? You you look at your own plate. Because what you, you going to do, you know I know. If we sit at the same table, you're like, oh, let me taste that steak. No. First of all, because you're going to be looking at my because you're going to want some cake, and you're going to want, want no damn cake. cake. Okay. Anyway. Oh man, she didn't. She put me on. She put me behind the wall, Brown. Come on, what you got? You know what? I might call in. I might call in Lenny for my last item. Can I phone a friend? No. 
hold on. Let me ask Hippie. Hippie goes. Uh oh. Hippie goes. Say I can phone a friend. Lenny, I need one more item, man. Your last meal? My last meal. I got a ribeye. I got me some fried chicken. What else do I need? She got a piece of cake on hers. And I got some macaroni and cheese. That's that fat girl inside you. You smile. Well, you I eat this. like that regardless. And I got macaroni and cheese. You see it, Lenny? Jesus, we got Mexican blend. We yeah, got Parmesan. Because I ain't ate in 21 days for real. I can't wait till Sunday. Rodney, we're going to have to go yams, man. It's, hey! got, it's sweet. It's got like a dessert, but it's still technically a vegetable. You know what? You know what, Lenny? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your, your suggestion because you did you did you did tickle my brain though. That's a I'm gonna go this to counter your cake. Give me a peach cobbler. Ooh. Ice cream or no ice cream? Oh, ice cream all day. First of all, who made it? My mama gone. Oh, somebody with that on. That's what I'm my mama gone, but I got an auntie with that on. <laughs> And yeah, they want to shout. She got, she got, she got, she got cinnamon and butter coming out of her skin. This is an ignorant conversation, but I love it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a what a last meal! Kiana came through. Kiana got what she got. What was Kiana meal? Fried, I, okay, I got fried pork chops. Fried pork chop, fried, fried hard, chops, one smothered and one smothered. Fried. Which you got hold it? On, you hold got on, it. my fault, Rodney. I got it. I got it. I got Kiana. She came out first, Rodney, with the pork chop. She said fried hard, and then she said one with gravy. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm gonna give up over that. No, 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 listen, this is my thing. This is my thing. I gave her a pass on that, even what? though it's two, because it's two. But it's I'm gonna two. Give, it's two. But it's I'm two. giving I'm giving you a pass because I have to give Rodney a pass on peach cobbler and ice cream. It's two. It always come together though. But no, it's the the ice cream is is. You don't have to ask for the ice cream though. No. They, they just throw it on there. Listen, Rodney. If you put peach cobbler by yourself and you need, I I know peach cobbler out there that needs no ice cream. So True you, enough. So if your but peach cobbler needs ice cream, there's no way I can make. My it peach cobbler don't need ice cream, but it's good when you have it. When you have it. This is what I'm factoring in. Those two arguments there are what's getting me. I have to the mac and cheese, Rodney. You you verified her mama can cook. Her mama can cook, but a ribeye is better than mac and cheese. No, but you verified her mama can cook. Her mama can cook. Her mama so can cook. I gotta give her the mac and cheese. Nah, but can she cook though? That's what I'm saying. That's why she's single. Kiana can't cook. Kiana can't I cook. I can't cook. Hold on. I can't. I don't have nobody cook for, sir. Mm. So so that make it worse. She won't cook. She won't cook, which is worse. <laughs> Rito, help me out here. Sneak worry me. I'm going to do this. I'll, I'll sum it up with my vote. Rodney, you almost lost it with Lenny picking the yams, but peach cobbler is my favorite dessert. So no. Yes! I no. go with Rodney Perry. I, I, I have homemade caramel and homemade cake. Are you crazy? But peach the man has spoken, Kiana. The game is over. All right, guys. <laughs> Kiana Dancy came through, put together a hell of a meal. If we sit at the same table, I'm definitely getting some of that cake. And I'm getting some of that damn ribeye. Mm. No, he said he eating off his lady if she sits still. Oh, yeah. You can't, now, get, none of that. You can't get none of that. Can't have none of that. Yeah, she ain't gonna sit. She ain't gonna sit still. Escape the skin. I'm out. I tap out on that one. Escape the skin. It's all how you chew it. Anyway, yo, Lenny, what it is? Kiana Dancy, thank y'all for coming in. First of all, the the next game we're gonna play is a game we call this or that. Only two things. We're gonna throw them out. Here we go. We're gonna put it on the screen, and we're gonna break it down. This or that. Uh, Rito. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. Fried chicken or pizza? This or that, Leonard Oots. Ah, that's ah. That's a tough one. Yeah, because fried, you can't take all that grease for too long, that fried chicken. I'm going fried chicken. <sighs> Rito got fried chicken. I got to go fried chicken, yeah. What you got, Rodney? 
I mean, to be honest, and Keanu will give you this one. You want you want to answer? I'm going to say, am I? Is this the same day or different days? Man, I don't know, Keanu. Whatever you okay. want. Okay, fried chicken. Yeah, see, I see why. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to say. I'm going to say, and I, I, me and my daughter had this conversation today. I can eat pizza every single day. I can't eat chicken every day. Oh, I I'm gonna say pizza. Okay, I see what you're saying. Why the fuck you pick fried chicken for your last meal, not pizza? Then I don't know. He I like fried food. chicken. It's my last meal. I gotta eat every day. I gotta eat it one time. <laughs> but you won't ch pick chicken over pizza. What's wrong with you, man? Hold on, brother. It, it, it's okay. Where we at? Well, Attend a more. party, Kiana. Attend a party or host a party. Ooh, attend. Really? Yeah, I work all the time. I never get. I thought you were gonna say host a party because you throw a hell of a party. I do, but I would. Oh, you mean host? Yes, yes. I thought you would mean like working. Yes, I definitely can host. Yes, I love yeah. hosting parties. Yeah. I do it all. Yeah, time. I don't want to my way or the highway type people. You don't want to take your shoes off? Okay, well you can you can go. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, yeah. attend a party. The turn up is real, or or throw your own party. Uh, attend because if wherever I'm at, I am the party. You hear me? So you feel me, motherfucker? It's tripping. Hey, hey, Lenny, what's at the party? How how was the party cracking? How was the party cracking? Man, come on, man. I'm in there. You know what I mean? Two, three blunts. You feel me? I done walked past Kiana twice. You know she done smelled the cologne. You know what I mean? Now she like, damn, Rodney was right. Lenny is cute. <laughs> I, mean, I done walked off with her home girl. We in the bathroom, you know. And then I left. Took a little plate. Oh, my mama. Was in there you a lie? I ain't huh? even bring it with me. I don't even know what you're talking about. What you? What you? We at your, we ain't we got your it party. On you. No, I said. See, you don't even listen. I said oh, your you friend. got it on you. I said your friend. I ain't even say you. I said your friend. I said I walked. Yeah, okay, first cool. of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out here since Kiana's on the show. Kiana, in my mind, she was a, a Christian. She was a good woman, and I'm at the comedy club. And then it gave Kiana about five drinks. I don't know who she called on her little phone, but she was like, I'm on the way over there. Get that thing ready. I'm like, ah, Kiana! What the? Oh, yeah. Last time I was last time I was there, she uh, she was hosting. Supposed to do 15. She did six and a half. I'm like, I got to go before the dick fall asleep. I got to go. Uh, you did not. I was like, ah. Hold on. Now, I said what Rodney said, kind of. I don't know what you talking about, Oopsie. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay. All, All right, guys, people, moving don't on. People, don't let these people mislead you. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Rido Brown has ha had a tremendous weight loss. Asking you first up, dog, juicing or blending? Uh, blending, yo. Juicing, I'm cool on. I, I rather like a, like a, a uh, it, it, I don't, it, but if it's just juice, I'm going to still be hungry. You know what I mean? Hmm. Cause I feel like if you just juice, I could just wash down a steak and cheese. You know what I mean? That's all. <laughs> oh God! All right, <laughs> Kiana Dancy. Yes, sir. Kiana Dancy, you've been you've been fasting. Uh, they say it's good to drink one of your meals, juicing or blending. Uh, definitely juicing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why is it better? Like, I don't know the difference. I'm getting all my nutrients, and see, sometimes when you blend, you it's not smooth. I don't want to chew and swallow and sip. I want it all to be smooth. I don't like all that. I don't like all that. I want it to go down one one texture. I want I want you to swallow a little bit. All right. Yo, what the fuck is going on? We know. I'm not talking about That's fruits and vegetables. Goodness gracious. Y'all hey. got y'all got dirty minds, hey, man. Hold on, Kiana. Can I ask you something? You know Do you ever put a straw between your little gap and, and No, I don't have to. Huh? No, I don't have to. Why would I do that? <laughs> you you got to get. I would try it. Because you retarded. <laughs> you, I, you, I, well, you. I, I'll be that then. It, it'll be new right. to you. Gap ain't, I, I mean, I don't play tricks with my gap and my teeth. Are you crazy? Well, you don't play no off. tricks? No. What? We in the bedroom. You done pushed the hey. nigga through your teeth? Hey, Rodney. Oh. hey, Rodney, I know for a fact now your story true. She told the nigga, get that tag ready. I know for a fact. Rito. Could you I couldn't believe it. I was like, "That's a, she." I, I'm like, "She's a Christian." All right, Lenny. Said, Why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> Lenny, you. juicing or blending? 
uh, preferably bacon, like on 375, 375. Say, you better keep it truth. You, you better keep it truth. You can put anything in on 375. You can put a house pillow in there on 375. It's going to come out good. So just Tastes good. Tastes good. 375, a little butter, a little spray. You know, you'll be all right. I just received, I just bought a blender. It's Nama. It's the Nama blender. Hey, we're going to have to reach out to them to get a sponsorship. Let me tell you something. This blender, you can put all this shit in there, motherfucker, at once. And it can, it can blend like nine oh, items at once. Drop that code in there, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> I ain't saying the code ain't fly. I ain't, I'm not that one. I'm about to put this bitch in the juice. So, so the code, so you ain't gonna say the code ain't fly, but when he said I was cute, it was a problem. See, all right. I just don't want no grown man to call another grown man. Hippie, mute her. I don't want to hear her. Mute, mute her, hippie, please. Thank you. Whatever. All right. all right, guys. Up next. Wait a minute. Don't take her out. Okay. <laughs> I love hippie. <laughs> hey, hippie, hippie is out of control. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Andromeda is in the building. Alfreda is in the building. Let me tell you something. This is the best podcast, bar none, out there in these streets. Here we go. You got like three podcasts. Why do you always disrespect your other podcasts like that? Because he going to say that. I, I say that to everyone. Say, wait, do you say that on your other shows about this? I do. I'm. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Here we go. This or that. Bad haircut or bad dye job? Ooh. I'd rather do a bad haircut because i seen George Jefferson pull it off. George Jefferson, he didn't have a bad haircut. He just had, didn't have no hair. No, that was a bad yeah. haircut because he didn't cut it all off. No, that back then you you would let you would rock that little shag in the no, back. You wouldn't, nigga. That nobody wore that. Him and Uncle Phil, those are bad haircuts. They can cut all that off. Leonard, tell tell Rito Brown he's an idiot. Bad haircut, bad dye job. Bad uh, uh dye job. You mean like when they put the Beijing and shit in there? When they put the Beijing. Oh, oh I take that. Like, give me a bad one Give me back because I can take a shower, and wash that off. I take that, yeah, but it's okay. crooked though. I go to the shower and wash all of it off. I'm, I take okay. bad that job. You can't I change a bad haircut if it's bad. I can try. I can tell them Beijing it again. I can try that again. All, all right, right Kiana, uh, you're rocking the honey blonde. Oh, bad. I think I'll take a bad dye, buy hair dye job. Bad, I you have, do you have a story about that? Because I mean, you've been getting your hair done for years, cut. Color the whole nine, and Kiana, one of them girls, she be having glitter everywhere. I don't like glitter. Yeah, so, and I'm a feminine woman. I'm a girly girl. But yes, I would take a bad dye job over a bad haircut because a haircut you got to wait for it to grow out. Dye job, you can re-dye it. Uh, and you know, I done had some, you know, some situations where you know she cut my hair crazy, but I go get a good wig and it's over. There you go. Hey, uh. We we coming down the home stretch of the show. I would rather I I, I I'm due for a dye job. You get your hair dyed. I'm about to die. I'm about to die, nigga, tonight. Why you, you got? You got a movie coming out or something? That's when I do it. When I'm working, I got to shoot. I got to shoot Saturday, Friday. So uh, I, I'm I'm gonna die this week. Uh, hey y'all, the name of the game is we finna argue. We do this every week on a Tuesday. If you're listening on the podcast space, thank you for that. If you're watching us, thank you for that. Um, Rito Brown, how do people stay in touch, man? And uh, what you got coming up? Um, same shit every week, man. This is the only place I'd be at. Um, what do I got coming up, though? Oh, I'm at the Ha Ha on the 7th of February. I got a show out in L.A. So if you're in the L.A. area, 7th of February, I'm at the Ha Ha Cafe. Um I forget who else is on the show, but I'm up there, so I'll. Have yeah, y'all about to go on a national tour pretty soon too, right? Oh yeah, but uh, June we'll be on. Tour oh wow, June. wow, okay. So that's gonna be fun. But other than that, I'll be here, man, every week whooping Rodney Perry ash. I know how I get down. You know, wow. Rodney, you lost everything today. That's not true. I beat Kiana with your vote, dummy. Oh yeah, right. Exactly. Damn, Rito. Uh, anyway. But Kiana. Anyway, we have to move on, gentlemen. We're at the last part of the show. Gentlemen, I'm a lady. I'm saving you for last. I wasn't talking to you yet, sweetie. All right. Uh, Leonard Oates, man, just a fabulous talent, man. Uh, I don't care what they say, nigga, you're gorgeous. Okay. I appreciate that, right? <laughs> hey, all jokes aside, man, uh, what's coming up, man? I know you're always working. I got a chance to read some of your projects you got coming out, man. Uh, and you got some fire stuff, man. What's next, bro? Um, me and Vince just sold Vincent Bryant. We just sold the show to uh BT Plus. 
So we're currently working on the script for that. Um, just shot my first comedy special with uh, 85 South. Uh, we, we actually I just got out of conference with that today, trying to figure out a home for that. So just know, just follow me on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Uzi, O-U-Z-T-S-Y-Y. I keep you updated. Um, but yeah, man, just, you know. Finna, finna try and get like you right and shit. We should we gotta we gotta talk about shooting the thing I sent you, man. You know what I mean? You know, I'm with that, man. That's a, that's a great, a great story, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she's a comedian, she's an actress, she is a motivational speaker. And she, she has a book it. on the streets on she at Barnes and Noble. Uh, she, in 21 days, remember that she's hungry than a motherfucker, and she's irritable right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kiana Dancy, Kiana, uh, what's happening, man? I, I know you just had your um, Bye Bye Bags. Yep, I had my Women's Empowerment event December 17th, where, uh, just so you guys know, it's called Baggage Claim. And Baggage Claim is a safe destination for women to come claim, release, and heal from the emotional baggage that they carry. Um, at the end of the day, no matter what you've been through, it you can start over. It does not matter. It does not define you. Um, I, you know, I have my book, Bye Bye Bags, Laughing to the Light and the Low, where I discuss healing myself whole through laughter. But then also I just published my second book, which is a journal. Thank you. It's a, a it's a companion book that you use, you know, side by side with the book to kind of walk through your day to day healing, your process. Because, listen, we all been through some things. Um, but, you know, just like Kevin Hart says, laugh at your pain. It will be OK. Wow. Uh, how do people stay in touch, Kiana? They can follow me on all things social. Same thing, Kiana Dancy. Um, they can also go to my website, kianadancy.com. That's K-I-A-N-A-D-A-N-C-I-E. And you can buy the book and the journal on my website and also everywhere they sell books. Now, now Kiana, I'm, I'm just going to say this, man. I'm looking at the cover of the book. Thank you. Ain't no way your leg is up at no motherfucking 90 degree angle. I can get my legs up that high, sir. Oh. Sure. You ain't got no reason to see my legs up that high. That's, that's There's true. No reason for unless you, you buy the book. Unless you buy the goddamn no, book. Unless you buy, thank you, Rito. Ain't no yeah. reason for Rodney Perry and I to have a conversation where my leg is at 90 degrees. I'm not. Uh, nobody hey, you know want to wanna see. I tell, I tell all these old hey, women. Rodney, you know what I noticed? She ain't yeah. stop talking to you like this until you took off your leather jacket, bro. I know. I don't got, got no respect no more. You I don't got like no it, respect Rito. no more. Your respect, gone. Yeah, I, I felt you know that. What? Hey, you. great show today, guys. Thank you to the great Leonard Oots. Thank you to Kiana Dancy. Thank Rito you. Rito Brown, great show as per hey, usual. Hey, Shout out JP, man. Shout out JP Justice. Yeah. Came in through and, and told us a story about him and her hermaphrodite. If you didn't hear that, go back and listen to that. Hey, y'all. Oh, my name is Rodney Perry. Rito Brown, man, such a great idea. Thank you for letting me be a part of this show, man. Oh, We're going to argue every week. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Time for the ugly face. Yo, back up, man. This... Uh, what?